It's the ultimate lore deck. And we're not talking about branded. This is the new Azamina, White Forest, and Snake Eye deck in Supreme Darkness, which is the next core set in the TCG. Even though it's coming out in January, there's a lot to be learned right now about how the new Azamina card, Azamina LZ of the White Forest, connects the lore from Azamina into White Forest, into Sinful Spoils, and then finally into Snake Eyes. Obviously, Snake Eyes have been around for a while here, but consider that in the OCG, Wanted and the Abel Star are both limited. Snake Eye Ash, Poplar, and Bonfire have suffered severe hits, and with Beatrice banned, there's not a lot of consistency in the OCG right now. So the White Forest have come to the rescue, and we're going to show you today how one Sylvie of the White Forest turns into a full 10 interruption Snake Eye board. And this is all, of course, thanks to the new support in Supreme Darkness. If you want to pick up some Supreme Darkness, head over to tierzerogames.com and check out some boxes and cases. Now, let's dive into the deck itself. So shout out to Yusha Pamo on Twitter, which was the inspiration for building this deck and looking at how this combo can work specifically within the TCG space. Because right now, Fiendsmith is not very popular there, but they also have Apollosa and Baron. So the combos are a little bit different, but the combo is definitely inspired by what they did over on Twitter. So check them out. This is sort of like a placeholder of a deck. It doesn't really matter what happens here, besides a few important cards that you need to learn. Of course, Sylvia of the White Forest, just a comment from Infinite Forbidden that adds a White Forest spell or trap. But this is the new and important card, and it's Azamina LZ of the White Forest. This is also an Azamina card, but also a White Forest card, it's a level 2. Now you can reveal it and special summon White Forest or Azamina monster from your hand. So essentially, it's a free special summon. And it's also sort of like a Cartesia, you can, as an ignition effect, fusion summon an Azamina monster using monsters from hand or field. But the most important part, if this is used as synchro material, you can add a Sinful Spoils card to hand, which is huge, because now, this is the first time where the White Forest cards directly can get access to Snake Eye and Sinful Spoils card. And this is the crux of this combo. Now remember, we obviously have three Wanted, three Bellstar, we have Bonfires and stuff that are not even in this deck. In the OCG, it's a little bit different because a lot of the cards are limited. But on the flip side, we don't have a lot of the extra deck tools that they do, so the end board is going to be a lot different. So we're playing a White Forest engine with the Azamina and Hollowed Azamina engine. We are playing Tales of the White Forest because this is the one card that gets us to LZ. And we're also playing this new card, which is Sinful Spoils of the White Forest. You get the lore references here, which is essentially a quick fusion on the opponent's turn, which we're going to use. So what we're going to do is summon this bad boy, which I love so much. If you've seen my branded video, check it out. One illusion, one fiend monster. And it sends a card on the field. This card is incredible. And besides playing the Azamina stuff, we're playing the Fiendsmith stuff, and we're playing some White Forest stuff because we need to use LZ as synchro material. A lot of other really important and cool stuff. Silhouette Rabbit is not just a trick here, it's actually useful because it's an illusion, and because we're playing a lot more illusions this time, Silhouette Trick on resolution can negate up to the number of illusions you control when it's summoned as a trap card, so this card is absolutely huge. This is going to be the deck list, you can modify it, there's no bonfire here, there's a lot of hand traps here. The basis of the deck is, of course, the Azmina cards and the White Forest cards that basically take over the lack of consistency from the other limitations. Now, let's check out the combo. So once again, this combo is just one Sylvie of the White Forest. Basically, it's all there is to this combo. This is one normal summon, no discards. Look at how much advantage this generates. Normal, to add a card from the deck, which is gonna be Tales of the White Forest. Now, because we control an illusion or a spellcaster. Sylvie is, of course, a spellcaster. We can add a white forest monster from our deck to our hand. And that's going to be the new Azamina LZ. Now, LZ can reveal itself to just special summon itself to the field. Special summon any Azamina or white forest monster from hand. We can now synchro and go into our Ciela, which is going to let us access the great effect of Azamina LZ to search any sinful spoils card from deck. We're going to activate Deception here, tributing the Arciella, grabbing the Hollowed Azamina, of course, and we're going to use it, sending the Deception here to summon Murcielago, the Bat, which is going to grab us Wanted from the deck. So far, 
pretty standard, nothing you haven't seen before. Now, how old is Amina? Requires you to shuffle an Azamina monster from the graveyard. Thankfully, we can now access an additional body because Azamina LZ is an Azamina, which is another very good um, way to play this. We're going to activate Hollow Azamina and chain our wanted, grabbing a Diabell Star and then sending the wanted upon resolution to summon the Ilya Sylvia, which is just going to stay here on the board and not move so we don't ever get nibbed. Diabell Star is going to grab us the OG. OG is going to activate, summon the Ash, and from here, things are looking a little bit more similar. Poplar is going to activate in the hand, searching us the Divine Temple. Temple is going to be placed on the field and grabbing the Diabell Star. Now we're going to be sending the Diabell Star in the Ash to grab a Poplar. Oak is going to be summoned from the deck and summoned back the Snake Eyes Ash. And now we're just going to access our Fiendsmith line because we can utilize this extra body in a very efficient way. Poplar is going to place Diabell Star, and we're going to run through the motions here, grabbing Lacrima, Fiendsmith Engraver from the grave, and most importantly, we're going to attach Requiem here to the Lacrima so we can send it with Oak and gain an extra body to get Flamberge onto the field here. Now, we can access Engraver, shuffling back Moon, summoning itself, going up into sequence, and then, as you know, we're just going to shuffle back three, and access our very own Desiree. Now, even though Desiree is very trendy right now, there's a very good reason why we insist on playing these Fiendsmith card, and this is, of course, the end board. Now, Diabell Star is gonna summon by placing the Oak onto the field, and then we're just gonna go into Selene because we have, of course, a Spellcaster here. Now, in terms of counters, we gain a lot. We have two spells here. We have a lot of other spells here. We gain at least three, and now we can remove three and summon the Arciella from Grave in Defense position. If this card is special summoned, you can send a Spell or Trap from the field as cost, which is going to be the Oak, to add one White Forest card. And this is going to be the new card, Sinful Spells of the White Forest. This is an additional interruption, actually two interruption, because now, during our opponent's turn, we can fusion summon one fusion monster from the extra deck. It's not shown in this replay, but the editor is going to put it on the screen. The Azamina Soul. We're going to summon it using this card. And we're going to be using an illusion and a fiend, which is going to be this fiend. And it's going to be the rabbit. So stick around for that. Now, we can access IP Mascarena. And of course, trigger the Flamberge, which we haven't triggered yet. And going into, with these three, into Promethean Princess, which is going to summon us back the Flamberge from the graveyard. And then sequence to attach. And... Now we can negate the princess so we're not fire locked, go into Silhouette Rabbit, and then set from the deck the Silhouette Trick. Now we're gonna draw with Wanted. And this is the amount of advantage that we've gotten from one normal summon Sylvie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cards out of one normal summon. And counting the interruptions, let's count them together. Princess is a pop and follow up. We, of course, need to place. Uh, IP Masquerade as well, get the Deception, set the Sinful Spoils, of course. And now this is the end board complete. Now this, of course, can go into a Goddess. This could go into an SP Lil Knight. This one, and again, we're going to show it on the screen right here. After you've used Desiree, after you've used Silhouette Rabbit's pop effect, you can fuse them together into an Azamina Soul. Chain 1, Soul, target a card in the field and send it. Chain 2, Desiree, shuffle back sequence, target another card in the field, send it. That's another two sends. That's already one, two, three, four, five interruptions, right? Six, we have the Ilya Sylvia. And then we currently have two Illusion Monsters. And we're going to have three. And Silhouette Trick. If this card is special summon, target face-up cards on the field. Your opponent controls up to the number of Illusion Monsters you control and negate them until the end phase. So that's up to three negates. And of course, the pop with Princess. There's also plays you can do here with Sylvie. Right? You can shuffle back the Arciella from field and then access Sylvie back onto the board. It's not super necessary because this board is relatively unbreakable as it is. Now, is this good for the future of Yu-Gi-Oh? No. Is this good for the Mega Ultimate Lore deck? Yes. <laughs> because this is the probably close to the culmination of the Diabell Star Story. We're probably nearing the end. And this is why 
we're finally seeing all these cards coming together. Thank you so much for watching up until now. Leave your comments below. What do you think about this? I'm sure one of you, or maybe even two, can point out a few things that could have been better in this combo, and I really want to hear them. So thank you so much again. Like the video, subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.